Okay, so it's been like a month since we talked to Product on White Photography about doing this case study uh, for our customer here, and we've gathered a bunch of data, and we've been running everything, and we've basically done everything possible to this listing uh, besides update any of the creative and the content, right? And, and so we have a pretty good baseline authority. We have a very competitive price. The product is priced very well. We have... Um, we have the, the we've been running ads and everything to get the, the ads correct. And it, as you can see, even in our ad data, like we're bidding on all the right keywords, like everything's there, but yet, I mean, our CTR is just really bad, like 0.10%, uh, 7%, 43%. Usually I wanna see, you know, two, at least one, two, 3% CTR is, is where things are going good. Uh, for those of you who are not, uh, advertising people that's click through rate. Um, but yeah, I want to see a good uh, CTR. So we're not getting very good CTR on our ads. And then even in uh, Seller Central, although we haven't won the buy box all the time, uh, we because there is some reseller selling this thing, still 84% uh, buy box for this the main SKU that we're working with here. And uh, only a 2% conversion rate basically just a little bit over two percent conversion rate so that's what we're starting off with we're starting off uh after we've gathered all those data with you know a ctr for most keywords below 0.2 percent only one keyword was above that at 0.43 percent so pretty pretty bad ctr and pretty bad uh conversion rate only a two percent conversion rate where people do click through to the listing. So our goal now, we're not gonna change price anymore. Um, we're not gonna change advertising strategy or anything like that. The, the main thing that we're gonna do is just switch out the images on this product. We're gonna go from uh, the images that it has right now, which are, are these images right here, and we're gonna switch them out to the images that we got uh, done with product on white. Uh, and then also we will um, do a little bit of graphic design. We'll have one of our designers do some design work and everything. And so I'll show the final product of that uh, later, but I did want to kind of update what our photography looks like right now. So uh, this is the photography that we shot. We basically had them shoot four colors uh, then we had them shoot the product in, laced up in a shoe, and then we had them shoot the product uh, with somebody kind of lacing it halfway up. And then um, we also had them take the, the product and then put it in a, in a lifestyle photo. So the, this is what you call a lifestyle composite, where you basically take the product picture and then they Photoshop it into a lifestyle photo. So we, we picked a lifestyle photo and did it that way. Um, overall, I think the shots look really good. Um, I really love the, the detail and the, and the color and everything that came through. So then we had uh, one of our designers go in and do the hue shift for the rest of the colors uh, for this. So that looks like... So uh, here's what the hue shift looks like. Basically, the hue shift is just us coming in and switching the colors out for each of these uh, skews, so that way we don't have to make a new color for each, or a new shot, an individual shot for each single color variation. Um, now, the hue shift can be hard, you gotta be careful. Uh, we did take four photos to make sure that we had enough to do the hue shift of all the different colors, but the hue shift turned out really good, I think. Um, as you can see, we have pretty much all of the, uh, all the colors now. I think the red looks, the best. I really love that red uh, lace there. So anyway, um, that's kind of what we have now to work with. And so now we're going to update this listing and get everything updated there and really uh, see how that plays into the conversion rate and the click-through rate on our ads and everything else. I'm pretty confident that it's going to have a major impact, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's see, a couple other things that I think to discuss was just working with uh, Product on White and just the, uh, how much this cost 
So our order was about $377. Um, they uh, were gracious enough to comp that uh, for us since we're doing the case study. But if you were a customer and you got uh, four kind of white background photos and then a prop with a hand model and then a composite and, and all that, it would cost you about $377 uh, to do that. I am fairly, really confident that we will make that ROI back. Uh, I enjoy working with them a lot. Uh, thank you guys very much for uh, doing this with us. The, the process was fun and educational. I will say that it is a lot of work. I feel like there's actually more work in doing the creative direction than in actually shooting the photography. Uh, if you're gonna work with product on white or, or a lot of photography companies, uh, especially if they're giving you a, a low price, they're not charging you thousands of dollars, then you're gonna have to give them a lot of input as to what you want uh, the product to look like. And if you're not uh, specific about giving them these precise instructions and everything, you're going to, uh, your, your images are probably not gonna turn out as good as these look. So we spent a lot of time uh, doing this and it took uh, a while just to get the product there, to tell them the shot directions. Even when they went to go shoot it, they, the photographer asked us questions and stuff like that. So, you know, all of this stuff is not easy and having a great looking product that looks really good, you have to put the energy and time into it or you have to spend the money. So even if you think that you're gonna hire a product on white and they're just gonna magically make everything good without you putting in the energy, um, you know, it's not true. You, you have to have somebody on your team or you have to hire somebody to manage that relationship or you have to do it yourself to make sure that you're getting your, your artists and your, your creative people, you gotta give them something good to work with. But anyway, that's where we're at right now. Uh, we're gonna run this experiment for a couple weeks or maybe a month or whatever and just play with the ads and uh, see what kind of conversion rates and um, conversion rates and uh, ROI we get on this. I'm hoping that everything uh, turns out the way I think it does. I think this is a great product. It's got good reviews. Uh, they have a unique thing, a unique product, new brand. So I think this should really uh, be a great example of how product photography is important. And uh, just check back with us and uh, let me know if you guys have any 